Team Mouth People NASCAR Nationwide Series heading to Darlington. It's also a racetrack we like to call the Lady in Black. Coverage begins Friday at 7 Eastern on ESPN2. Oh, check this out. You're looking at NBA star Cedric Sabalos, the man who spent 17 years in the NBA and is most notably known for this, a very controversial blindfolded dunk contest slam. A big time dunker, so we, of course, have a big time treat. Cedric, come on out. All right, we have a lot more coming up on that dunk. Okay. We're gonna get to the bottom we'll of it once it across. We'll break it down. It's been a few years, but we're gonna have you do some heavy power lifting. No problem. With that voice. Yes. Power rankings today, all about awesome dunkers. Mm -hmm. I kind of figured you knew what we'd be talking about here. So let's so. do this. Number five on our list, bum, ba, da, 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 the old Derrick Rose dunker Rooney. The MVP oh. right there. Obviously short and stout, but gets up off the ground. 40 inch vertical and does elevate and detonate, as my Tom Leander would say in Phoenix. I like that. Yes. Elevate and detonate. You good with that? Good with the MVP here? I go with the MVP here. He should be on there. Uh, you go back to Spud Web Day. Small guys always dunk that. Small little dude. Number four, yeah, B Wade. Fair enough. A little taller, his afro is a little bit bigger than D, than D Rose, but I'll tell you what, <laughs> the guy does power dunks uh, like no other, and especially because of his strength. He gets in there and you don't think he's gonna raise up, and then all of a sudden you're on his poster or his Gatorade commercial. Yeah, the Anderson Verja one at the top there was oh. probably the most embarrassing that I can recall. Number three, this guy's got it dunk, Dwight Howard. Well, he's got it dunk, but I, mean, I think this is cheating. This is, see, that's unfair right there. The guy is 6'10, 6'11, 6'20, and just a powerful guy. Goes up, 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 and does not stop. And How then, is that cheating? And then he pushes you out the way with his strength. So, I mean, come on, that's unfair. Think of that. That's, you know, people are watching. Stop it, Dwight. Stop it. He does it. have freakishly large arms, oh, doesn't he? Oh, goodness. This guy, LeBron James. How is he number two? This guy's number one for me. What? Uh, unbelievable dunker. Off the run, vertical, doesn't matter. Posterized, just runs over Rondo. Sorry about the back of the head, Rondo. But, <laughs> you know, get out of my way. He moves the Ball when he's in the air. Also, uh, great passing from his teammates, and he just finished him real well. I was almost I enthralled by that. Now, this is the current slam dunk contest yeah. winner, Blake Griffin. He's number one. No, he, I do. I mean, let's go 1.5. Okay. Let's go 1.5 okay, because LeBron has never been in a dunk contest, but this guy is uh, remarkable. He just lifts up over people. If you're in the way, no problem. And see, these are the ones that count it. Let's show the ones that he gets charged in fouls. Those are even more ridiculous. <laughs> I mean, Blake Griffin is a beast when it comes to his body and getting off the ground. Now this is it. Nice. We've, those were obviously some great big time yeah, dunks. Yeah, okay, yeah. I yeah. want to go back in time to another big time dunk. Yeah. Something that I think is very close to your heart. 1992, <laughs> very long time ago. We are old. The slam dunk contest, that blindfolded dunk. Yes. A lot of controversy. We're going to take a look at it. And I'm going to ask the question that's been asked a million times, but I want the answer today. Okay, how tall am I? No, I know. I can look that up. That's oh. easy. Okay, show us the dunk. Give us the, the blindfolded dunk. Now, helping you out there. Is that Dan Marley helping you out? Hey, Thunder Dan, That's why good not? stuff right there, yeah. I like that. Now, a lot of controversy on whether or not you could see through the blindfold. You've always said you could not. Mm -hmm. Today is an amnesty day. We're not gonna count it against you. Could you see through that blindfold? I could not see through the blindfold at all. I mean, it's totally... Did you know where the basket was? I mean, it's real easy. I can close my eyes and I know you're still here. You know what I mean? It's just the now, way. Now close your eyes again. Uh, okay, now you're moving around. You're moving around. See? See? Exactly. But see, the basket doesn't move. and doesn't, it doesn't. I believe him, you guys. I actually do, and I'm the most cynical person here. You couldn't see me the blindfold, Cedric Sabalos. That voice, keep rocking that Phoenix around. I will. Don't put that on the BS board, please. I mean, yeah. You know what? Not yet. Although, we could, if we had a quicker turnaround, we would. I can't be on the liar board either. That you was true. You can't be on the liar board. That, that is, was true. That is actually my cue for this. We need capes for the BS meter because it is our job now to sniff out all the liars yeah. and put them in their punishment. When you lie, you go to the liar board for as long as we feel fit. Which is like till oh, the wow. next time we do We've it. had a lot of liars. And uh, we're going to go ahead and get things started with this guy. Been talking a lot lately, Mr. Kobe Bryant, a lot. Now, the latest. Last night, the Lakers walked off the court at Staples Center, yep. and there were boos and there were silence. The Mavericks won their games there. Now LA is in a 2 nothing hole as they go back to Dallas. A lot of criticism, a lot of concern, but Kobe isn't worried. Take a listen. It's only one game, yeah. Everybody's tripping. Win one game. We'll win the next game, and then you move on to the next one. Simple as that. Uh, I am tripping. Uh, yeah, and like, and like with, like with Mount Everest, you know, it's just one step at a time. That's right. Just no, one little step. Wait a minute, Colin. Are you tripping? 
<laughs> I am tripping. You are. Listen, it's when you're down 0-2, it's just not, hey, man, chill. It's one more game, one step at a time. Try to win in Dallas three times. Here we go, Nation.